On this World Humanitarian Day, Religions for Peace stands in solidarity with religious and faith leaders who serve on the front lines of humanitarian emergencies and provide direct life-saving emergency assistance and support to vulnerable communities on the ground. In 2022, the United Nations estimated that over 274 million people need emergency humanitarian assistance and support. Now more than ever, humanitarian relief workers are called upon to ensure that no one is left behind as the world continues to face ongoing violent conflict, the climate crisis, human rights violations, and other global issues that threaten all of life and the planet. For over 50 years, Religions for Peace, the world's oldest, largest, and most representative multi-religious movement, has been advancing common action among the world's religious and faith communities in nearly 100 countries and six regions through representative, multi-religious platforms called interreligious councils. As we strengthen the foundations for interfaith cooperation, mutual respect and understanding, the Religions for Peace global movement convenes to catalyze and promote multi-religious and multi-stakeholder collaboration for the common good in times of peace, war, natural disaster, and acute health emergencies. Under the six strategic priorities of Religions for Peace, we continue to ensure that religious and faith communities are well positioned and equipped to mobilize and sustain interfaith and intersectoral collaboration for responses where the needs are greatest. Through our flagship multi-religious humanitarian fund, Religions for Peace has supported 38 interfaith initiatives that have reached over 37 million people across the globe. For example, with the support of Religions for Peace, Association Gone Vice Lace Segalizer Vizet, AGS, provided 70 refugees with safe housing, enabled continued learning for 25 children, and directly delivered life-saving humanitarian aid to refugee shelters in the Transcarpathian and Odessa regions in Ukraine. Moreover, AGS provided non-perishable food, electric power generators, critical vitamins, medicines, sanitary and hygiene items, and other necessities to refugee shelters over a period of several months. In Haiti, thousands of Haitians living in the regions of Martisant, Site Soleil, and Croix de Bouquets were forced to leave their homes due to gang violence. With our support, Religions for Peace Haiti provided financial assistance to 15 families displaced by ongoing violent conflict. As a result, Religions for Peace Haiti enabled 10 elementary school students and five university students to complete the 2021 to 2022 academic year. Emmanuel Raphael, one of the project participants from Religions for Peace Haiti, stated, God came to our rescue through Religions for Peace and this project. And for that, I am very thankful. Another incredible initiative of Religions for Peace was implemented during the fifth Ebola outbreak in Uganda in 2022. Religions for Peace's Interreligious Council of Uganda mobilized religious leaders to play a significant role in community social mobilization to respond to and support national efforts to combat Ebola in Uganda. Key initiatives included media engagement, the adaptation and use of Ministry of Health approved information, education and communication materials specifically created for religious leaders, and improving the capacity of religious leaders to raise community knowledge of illness prevention, detection and treatment. With the support of Religions for Peace, Small Steps and the Peace Academy, Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina, conducted a training program, The Effects of War on Individuals and Groups, finding hope in the midst of destruction to assist and support Ukrainian refugees and internally displaced peoples in finding ways to cope with the immense strain and trauma of the ongoing war in their country. The participants in the program, including many women, came from a variety of professional and religious backgrounds, the program supported the participants by giving a voice to their suffering and validating their experiences, helping them regain their sense of dignity, safety, and power. This project changed the lives of the participants and allowed them to thrive and survive even in the toughest of circumstances. In addition to addressing the urgent needs of vulnerable people, Religions for Peace invests in the long-term viability of multi-religious humanitarian initiatives at the local, national, regional, and global levels. Visit our website or follow us on social media to read and learn more about the life-changing stories and projects of Religions for Peace. We ask that you consider giving a gift to the Religions for Peace Multi-Religious Humanitarian Fund to support these important initiatives that provide direct life-saving humanitarian assistance where the needs are greatest.